Hello everyone, welcome to Life Around Science and to the next video of Opportunities in Physics where we give out information related to academia that reach us. I would suggest you hit the bell icon besides the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any update because there might be some updates that you are interested in and interested in and it might have a deadline so if you don't want to miss out click the bell icon so let's start with today's updates so the first is regarding python programming so if there is someone who wants to learn start learning python from scratch or even who wants to go to an advanced level then the web encoding club of IIT Bombay has started uh, this tutorials named code in quarantine so you can just sit at home and start from scratch and build up and build up to become an advanced programmer so this is similar to what I had mentioned before related to Python and astronomy by Kritika club as uh, the astronomy club of IIT Bombay but that was specific to astronomy and this is general computer science if you want to know more and get into data science and machine learning this is the place for you uh, so yeah so this is the introduction note by the club as you can see it's an eight week tutorial which has already begun they put up a tutorial each week it starts with basic python and these are the contents competitive programming machine learning github front-end development back-end development so you can also get into web development if you uh, go through this and blockchain and they also have their telegram group link if you want to discuss your doubts so it's already the fifth week but this will stay here uh, even after the eight weeks of the tutorial are over so you can start anytime from scratch and even if you already know python you can learn advanced topics like machine learning and web development and so on so you can go to each week and get the contents so uh, so let's uh, for example i have opened the machine learning uh, tab here so that given introduction what they do is they give you links to uh, different resources that might be just right for you because they have gone through it and so that you'll uh, get the hang of it and um, so some of the uh, links that they give are have developed by have been developed by them for teaching purposes and some of the links are external links but might prove useful for you so this is like one place you need to go to learn and you don't need to search uh, online uh, what you need to learn so you can just come here and get all the links at one place so after you have gone through the resources in each week they give you certain tasks to hmm, for your for practice purposes so that you can master the skills that you have learned for example uh, first task is the assignments of Stanford course Stanford University course CS231 so basically you be solving assignments given to Stanford students sitting right here and you'll get the knowledge the world-class knowledge that is available out there and task 2 document classification calculus contest denoising an image and so on so each week has a page like this so you start by looking up the resources learning it and solving the task so if you're bored in quarantine and want to get your hands on programming then this is a good place the second update is particularly for PhD students this is the ESO studentship program by ESO stands for Euro European Sun Observatory so they have started this studentship program which is a really interesting one not many people know about it I came to know about it since I'm also associated with Australian National University which is the premier in, uh, university of Australia uh, where I had uh, visited over summer for my project work so through uh, I'm also so associated with them so I get information from them too so I just read this out so ESO awards several studentship positions each year in Germany and Chile 
द गोल ऑफ दिस प्रोग्राम इज टू कनेक्ट पी एच डी स्टूडेंट्स एंड दर एडवाइजर्स थ्रू द ईसो कम्युनिटी सो इफ यू आर अ पी एच डी स्टूडेंट वॉट दिस ऑफर्स इज यू कैन अप्लाई ओवर हियर एंड इफ योर एप्लीकेशन गोज थ्रू यू गेट टू वर्क इन इधर जर्मनी और चीले डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द वर्क यू आर डूइंग then you get to spend 1 to 2 years of your phd at those places so as a part of your phd so either if you are already working in something you can you get to go there and spend 2 years of your phd over there or even if you are beginning a phd you can choose a topic from their website for a phd thesis you want to work on and go there work for 2 years and come back and continue with that project so the deadline is 31st may so there was if you click here there are phd thesis topics so you can go through the topics uh, that eso is offering under the studentship program so it's a huge list so these are the topics that are running in chile and the others are in gaching by munchen in germany so these are the thesis topics for example these are related planets and star formation stellar structure and evolution star population so these are the topics and the thesis supervisor whom you will be working it if you get selected yeah so cosmology and universe so you can go click on any thesis that you think is related to you or you would like to work on for example uh, i have opened a tab for probing the baryon cycle so if you click on it so this is the abstract for what work is involved in that phd topic and related to advisors you can look them up and see if you are fine working with them and this is completely paid uh this is completely funded so this is a very good opportunity for phd students uh to get uh, international exposure and get uh to work in work in uh uh germany or chile for the phd's for about 2 years next is related to uh, physics department seminars of iit bombay so they run a series of distinguished called distinguished lecture series where they call distinguished professors who talk uh, on about topics under their area of expertise so the next talk is by professor umesh vaghmare from jncsr and the title of the talk is predictive models of materials based on quantum physics and machine learning so this will be live on 11th may 4:30 pm so if i'll put the link so you can go through the abstract if you like it you can attend the seminar so this was all for today if you like uh this idea of giving updates please like the video and thank you